Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the review, full review of the creator's update of Windows 10 that will be coming April 11th on Waves. So basically um, some people will have it early, people will have it, some others will have it later. And so it's a nine part video. So this is part one of nine and today start menu in Action Center. That's where we're going to focus on. Start menu and action center. So what's new in the start menu and the action center and the creator's update? Here we go. Start menu. First thing that people wanted is the ability to remove the app list right here on the left side. Some people were annoyed that the app list was there. Well, now if you simply go to your settings and you go into personalization, you'll see that in start on the left side you have a switch show app list in start menu you can turn it on and look at this no more app list and your start menu and if you do desire to see that app list is a little hamburger menu that will bring you the app list right here so basically that's uh, one first feature that a lot of people demanded second of all folders now you can actually take tiles here put them in folders say I want to put the Sway app in um, maybe with the OneNote app here you just slide the tiles one over the other and then you see that they drop into one section like this and you see this little arrow you click it look at that now they are both part of the uh, same folder so you can actually just create folders with your different options so here I've got games here I put uh, these um, Microsoft apps here are other Microsoft apps and when you click you see that they open up and you can click whatever app you want to see uh, the missing option here is names you know it would have been nice if you could name this these folders uh, but then again when you look at the screen you know it's easy to see that these are games just by the miniatures inside the, 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 the tile and these tiles by the way are live tiles so depending on how you have them, they can actually display information. So they are live tiles also. So these are the two new features that are most uh, interesting in this creator's update for the start menu. What about the action center? First of all, you'll see a new button called Nightlight. And let's just, for example, take Microsoft Edge here. Now you see how the screen is white. And I'll turn on light, night light. You'll see the color change to kind of an orange color. This is because it's a new mode, and you know a lot of devices have this. Studies, some studies seem to show that the LEDs in our computers and tablets, that uh, when they are emitting white light, are actually emitting blue light at the same time, and that might prevent us from sleeping at night. So night light actually removes the blue light from the screen maybe giving us a better sleeping time. So that's a new uh, available mode and Nightlight actually has settings. So if you go into your um, settings here and you go into system, in the display section you see that Nightlight is on or off and there are settings for Nightlight. The color temperature of your screen at night and you can even schedule Nightlight either sunset to sunrise because your computer knows when the sun sets and rises at your location or you can set your own local hours as to when they're on or off. So this is a new feature called night light. It's uh, really a blue light reduction of your screen. Other interesting features when you're installing apps here you will have the notification of where it is. So for example, let's say you download a, a game and it's a big game and takes time. Well, you'll see the progression here. There will be a progress bar and you'll have how many percent you are done downloading. Very, very nice because you don't have to go into the Windows Store anymore and check it out. It's available right there. There's a new way Cortana notifications appear here also that will have um, bigger text uh, in a different color and different font. So it, it actually shows you different information that you can easily 
uh, see the difference between what's Cortana telling you and what your own notifications are telling you and so on. And of course, there's the way of grouping. If you receive e emails, for example, before you would have like, uh, you know, uh, the different notifications one after the other, they're now grouped into categories. So all the mail is one in one category that you'll see that's separated with a little thin line. Um, and one last thing that's pretty cool about the Action Center here, and that I've experienced a few times without even even um, asking it, and it's um, picking up where you left off. Cortana knows uh, that you were working on another Windows 10 PC. So basically, all your PCs, when they are synchronized to Windows 10, if you have the same Microsoft account on them, when you're working on something on one PC, you leave it there, you turn it off, you go to another Windows 10 PC, you get a notification here, and I got those notifications. I was working on Windows, um, on YouTube videos on this one, and then I went to the other insider machine I've got, and Cortana popped up and said, oh, you wanna continue working on your YouTube? Uh, you were on YouTube and you were doing stuff on YouTube, you wanna continue working there? So it knows where you are, and it's pretty cool because you just click, and it brings you exactly at the position of where you were. So that's a very, very helpful little feature. So this is pretty much what we have in Start and Action Center. And of course, this is part one of nine of what's new in Creator's Update of Windows 10. Hope you enjoyed the full review. And uh, if you have any comments, questions, let us know. If you like our videos, you can subscribe, give us thumbs up. And uh, we have tons of you know uh, live shows here where you can an we answer questions and there's all sorts of interesting things happening. So uh, it's a fun channel to be with. Hope you enjoy our videos. And thank you for watching my review of Windows 10 Creators Update.